The cell phone video captured by a passing driver confirms what Rutherford County Sheriff's deputies reported last month. Off-duty police officer Matthew Ward in a truck with Arkansas plates and 57 miles outside of his jurisdiction of the small town of Deckard held another driver at gunpoint after a road rage incident. Ward is now facing an aggravated assault charge and was allowed to resign from the Deckard Police Department. The types of behavior that were exhibited by Officer Ward don't appear out of nowhere. There probably were some warning signs, but I can't say for sure. Greg King says he's the officer in charge of running investigations for police officer candidates at the Deckard Police Department. And our investigation revealed King may have been onto something regarding Ward's past work at a police department in Florida. Officials at the Fort Walton Beach Police Department with first-hand knowledge of Ward's training there told News Channel 5 today, Ward was in the field training process at the Fort Walton Beach Police Department. And during his training, they say Ward received negative feedback from his training officers and wasn't progressing through the phases of training as a typical officer would. He made it to the second of four phases before resigning without advance notice. King says before Ward was hired to work in Deckard, he had instituted an enhanced background check for officer candidates modeled after Metro Police. King says that check included contacting a candidate's previous employer to find out about any concerns. But King says that didn't happen with Officer Ward because the Deckard police chief, Ross Peterson, told King not to call. Why would he tell you something like that? I can't say as to his motivations. Uh, I asked Officer Ward in his interview about uh, going through the Florida Police Academy and leaving Fort Walton Beach within four months of being hired there. Uh, the question was actually cut off during, his answer was cut off by Chief Peterson during the interview. And uh, afterwards in the squad room, Chief Peterson and I were talking and I said I was going to call Fort Walton and find out what they had to say. He said, don't worry about that, he'll be fine. And I, I clarified, I said, so you're telling me not to call? He goes, yeah, it'll be okay. All right, this is not going to degenerate into this. During a rowdy Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting last night in Deckard. Now that you've had your time to talk, shut your mouth and let him talk or you'll be escorted out. You understand? At least one alderman questioned why no one called Ward's past police department. Ross, did you contact this officer's previous employer? No. No? Why? Because he didn't actually... It wasn't actually an officer there, it was going through his field training officer program. But if I applied for a job at Walmart, they would contact my previous employer, even if I was there for training. The chief said by law, even if he called Ward's former employer, they would only have been able to tell him if he worked there and if they'd hire him again. But King says given what Ward is now charged with, he wishes the chief would have at least gotten those answers. Would you have made that phone call if you had been in charge? Absolutely. That is a, in this day and age with law enforcement under the scrutiny that it's under, to not be as thorough as we can in vetting candidates is just unconscionable to me. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.